In lesson five of our How to Use HoneyBook course, I'm going to show you how to set up your packages and also make an invoice here in HoneyBook. This is actually one of my favorite features. So let's start with creating your packages. So first go into tools and templates. I told you we'd be spending a lot of time here. This packages tab will have all of your different service packages that you need to set up. It's up to you how you do these. I would like to break them down to anything that you're regularly kind of mixing and matching and removing. So if there's anything that you are never mixing and matching, you can put those together all in one package. If you have some add-ons, you can always use those and you can do packages in terms of quantities too. So as an imitation designer, sometimes you might want a package of 25, a package of 50, a package of 75, etc. So you can see some examples of ones I have here, like wax seal, an upgrade to handmade paper, and then we have our three-piece suite, which will be a little bit more involved, so I'll show you this one. I absolutely love HoneyBook's invoicing and packaging setup. I think it's really easy to use and understand and has a lot of great features. So right here we have our three-piece suite, which includes our design fee, our production, our calligraphy guest address and our shipping. And this is basically the name of the package and then everything that comes underneath. So you could have the entire package price be set to the full price by itself and then everything underneath could be set to zero potentially if you don't want them to see what each line item is worth. Um, or you could just put all your line items in the package description if you want to do it that way and have a robust description there. Um, you can also have each individual package and you can have different uh, quantities here. So we have one design fee, but we do have a hundred uh, production and we explain to them, you know, everything that's included in production. Then you can check each line item individually for tax or the full package if you want. Uh, for instance, the design fee may not require tax depending on where you live, uh, but your production might. And then again, calligraphy address maybe does, maybe doesn't, shipping maybe does, doesn't. So you can do that by line item, which is really helpful. Another thing I love is that you can add an image here either from your library or from your computer. So I could add a picture of me painting something. So that just goes off of the fact that the design fee includes all of my custom artwork. And then maybe I can include a picture of an invitation here so they can see what all is included in that kind of production. So I do love that you can have an image there. Um, it's really easy to click in here and edit quantities. It's really easy to click in here and edit prices, delete something or add a new line item here. So say we wanted to add envelope liners, a hundred of them, and those are going to be $2 each. One thing I love about all these templates we're editing is that HoneyBook is saving all of our changes as we go. So we don't have to worry about saving it, which is very helpful, kind of like Google Drive or something. So that's basically how you set up a package in HoneyBook. Um, you can do this in so many different ways. I'm not going to presume to know what's best for your business, but anything that you mix and match reg regularly should be its own package. And then it's really easy to create these on the fly as you need them. So you'll see like I have the two piece, the three piece, the one piece. Um, so depending on how many pieces I'm designing, I will have different packages for each one. So once you've created these packages, how do you add them to an invoice? You're going to click create new again we're still in that templates section and click invoice this is all fairly self-explanatory and then you'll be able to add an invoice this information will already be populated for you but then you can add so many different things so whenever you see this plus sign you'll be able to add a block and you can see all the different types of blocks that you can add text questions image video file uploader divider company info, and then also different layouts. This will be like a, you know, icon and text, text over an image, video and text, just all these different things. And then a couple basic ones like two images or image to the left of text, etc. I'll explore the blocks and editing further in a different section. So let's just focus on the invoice right now because that block is already going to be populated. So you can add a new service here. So each of these services kind of serves as its own block within the invoice. So when you go to type in your item here, you can go to your different items uh, that you've listed. You can also just type in anything. So you can do invitation design and do a quantity of one and say that's $1,500. You also can in here visit the packages tab or in the all tab, you can search through your different packages. So that one was like three piece sweet design package. 
Oh, three piece suite, this one, which has five items. So I'll click on that and then it populates everything that was in that package, our full three piece suite, our full price here with all of the different items that we included. And if we were to add that tax on one of the line items, for instance, it's going to add it down here at our tax rate and you can always edit the tax type and rate if you need to. I mentioned mixing and matching. So this is where you can go in and check out your other packages and maybe you add a 24 by 36 sign file. Um, maybe you add a one-time thing for napkin design file. We're gonna add one of those at $45. For instance, so you can kind of add things ad hoc or you can use the packages you already built um, or you can do a combo of all of those options. Now over in the invoice settings, you'll be able to change up your tax details or set your payment options. You can make this a recurring payment if you need to. Um, you can allow them to play with, pay with credit card, bank transfer, or both. And then you can turn on or off the tip button. I'm a big fan of the tip button. I get tipped in a lot of surprising ways. So I really like it. That tip button pays for my use of HoneyBook every single year. And then if you want to force them to use auto pay, you absolutely can. And there's a new feature where they have late fees on here, which chef's kiss, because we absolutely <laughs> need to have late fees sometimes. Also in your settings, you will have some design settings. So you can actually edit the color and layout. Like you could change the full background color to be one of your branding colors, for instance. Um, you can change up these header fields and what's included on them. And then there's some columns where, for instance, we had an image on some of our packages, but we didn't include it for everything. So we can decide whether we want to include that column or not, which is really nice. Uh, you can include like this unit just says unit. So I don't really need that column on here. And then you can decide whether you want to have the tax included on there or not. As you can see, it's still listed here. So we are still collecting it, but it's just not listed on the individual line item. Down in your payment schedule, you can click here and you can decide whether it's going to be a custom payment amount, an equal payment, or a percentage and when those things are going to be due um, because they can you can change it to like a custom date or a smart date based on when we sent the invoice or the project date or something like that. Um, and you can use a lot of different options here, which are really fun. And if you need to update that payment schedule, you can just uh, delete this one, add a payment, whatever makes sense. For instance, if you were to delete this one, um, you need an additional payment, or since this one was equal payments, it's automatically gonna recalculate to be fully due all at once in one payment. And this is a little bit of a preview of Smart Browse, which we'll talk about in the next section. Uh, but you see over here, you have two different pages. So we have invoice and then we have pay. And you can't do a lot on this payment section, but in general, if you click on each page, you'll see all the different customization options. Um, so you can add some company info in a few different uh, layouts here. You can add some things at the top if you want. There's not a lot you can do because it is a payment page. Then to send that invoice, we will head over to our projects tab, find our Jake and Amy project. And when you hover over this project date, you can click send file. So when we click on invoice, we have our three piece invitation suite invoice. And now, as you can see, it's renamed on Amy and Jake's uh, project. So any changes that we would make to this particular invoice template are only going to apply to Amy and Jake. So maybe Amy and Jake don't want to add this napkin design so we can delete that. And then we will click share and it will send it over to Jake and Amy. You can decide whether you want them to have an access code or not. Um, it'll give you the information here that's required. Sometimes having that access code can give you a little bit more security, uh, but it just will make it a little bit harder for them to log in. So it's up to you. And then you have uh, this at the bottom to create a link to this file. If you wanted to send that in some other way via DM or Facebook message or something else, you can type whatever um, email you want on here, and then you can just click send send yourself a test or schedule the send first. I definitely recommend those uh, test emails at first just to see how this all is going to look to your client. So in putting together your packages and invoices, we touched a little bit on smart files and you saw the very basic <laughs> overview of that. So in the next section, I'm going to go into smart files more in depth and explain how all of this starts coming together.